Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do the get to know me in 25 questions YouTube tag. So question number one is do you have a middle name? And yes, I have a middle name. My middle name is Elise. Growing up, my initials were A. A A because my first, middle, and last name started with an A and I used to get teased all the time, not in a mean way, but just in a fun way. They used to be like, hey, triple A, can you help me get home? Like, please, thank you. Question number two is what was your favorite subject in high school? And I think that my favorite subject in high school had to either be math, was probably math. I hated English. I'm still not good at English. Like, I have to ask my husband all the time how to properly say things because I cannot put a sentence together because obviously I graduated high school and went to college, but can't put a sentence together if my life depended on it. Question number three is what is your favorite drink? Overall, my favorite drink in the whole entire world is Diet Coke. I am a Diet Coke addict. My husband says I'm a Diet Coke addict. I have issues, like I need Diet Coke every day in my life. But if you're talking about like Starbucks or a coffee place, I love vanilla iced coffee with just a little bit extra creamer in it. I love it. Question number four, what is your favorite song at the moment? I'm kind of into Justin Bieber right now because my kids are into Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Question number five is what would you name your kids or what have you named your kids? I have three kids. They are five, three, and eight months. My oldest is a girl. Her name is Peyton. My second is a boy. His name is Austin. And my youngest baby girl is eight months old. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. She's eight months old and her name is Reagan. Question number six is did you participate in sports? And the answer is yes. I played sports all of the time. I was very active when I was younger and throughout high school. Um, but my two favorite sports that I did were tennis and swimming slash diving. I did swimming and diving at the same time. Question number seven is what is your favorite book? Honestly, I don't even know the last time I read a book. I read the Bible, but I don't read books. I haven't read a book since before I had kids. And I read all of the Harry Potter books and all of the Twilight books, and I loved both of them. The movies, meh, they're all right, but the books, those were good. Question number eight is what is your favorite color? And my favorite color at the moment, which has been for like a long time, is a mint color or like a turquoise color. Like any kind of variation of a minty turquoise color, I just love. Question number nine is what is your favorite animal? And up until recently, I would have to say zebra, but if we're talking about like a pet, I guess a dog, even though I don't have a dog, but I don't like cats. Sorry to all you cat lovers out there, but me and cats, we just don't, we don't see eye to eye. Question number 10, what is your favorite perfume? And my favorite perfume my husband bought me for Christmas last year because I begged him for it, but it is from Michael Kors and it's the jasmine scented one. Question number 11 is what is your favorite holiday? And my favorite holiday of all time is Christmas. I love every single thing about Christmas. Gifts or, yeah, gifts or whatever. Me and my husband don't really exchange gifts because we have three kids now, so our main focus for Christmas is on our kids. But I love everything about Christmas. I love Christmas trees, I love Christmas lights, I love going and looking at Christmas lights, I love cookies and hot chocolate and dressing up. I just love everything about Christmas. Question number 12 is on a scale of one to 10, rate your childhood. My childhood was a 10. I don't know if I would have felt that way growing up, because you always want more, I don't know. You always want other things that other people have and whatever, but honestly, looking back at my childhood now, I would say it is a 10. My parents are still together. They have been together almost 30 years. Um, I have one little sister, so it was just me and her growing up. And we went on vacations all the time. My parents had a timeshare in Hawaii and we got to travel a lot and we got to go to the beach almost once a month. Um, yeah, I had a very, very good childhood. Question number 13, have you ever been out of the country? I have been on a cruise to Mexico when I was 
a month away from being 18, <laughs> which kind of sucked, but <laughs> um, other than that, no, I have not been out of the country. Question number 14, do you speak any different languages? And the answer is no. My husband is bilingual and speaks both English and Spanish, and my daughter is trying to learn Spanish, and I try my hardest, but I cannot get the hang of the whole different language thing. I try, but I can't. Question number 15 is, do you have siblings? And yes, I have a little sister who's technically not really little anymore because she's only two years younger than me, but I am the oldest, she is the youngest, and it was just the two of us. Question number 16, what is your favorite store? And I think every mom would agree with me on this. My favorite store is, drum roll please, Target. I love Target. I love that I can go into Target and find anything I need household wise, kid wise, myself wise. I just love it. I love that they have popcorn and Starbucks and a dollar section. I just, I love Target. My husband hates that I love Target. He does not want to go to Target with me, but it is my favorite store and I love it. Question number 17 is what is your favorite restaurant? And I would have to say that my favorite restaurant of all time is either Cheesecake Factory, Chipotle, or Hooters. I don't know. I think their wings and their fries and their ranch are just awesome. I don't know. I never like my experience when I go there, but their food is really, really good. Question number 18 was, did you like school? And the answer to that is yes. I really enjoyed high school and junior high. I always got good grades, and when I was in high school, I was in a, involved in a lot of extracurricular activities, including sports, and I even did band for a year, or maybe two years. I think two years. I don't know. And I did FFA, and I was involved in a lot of like scholarship activities and things like that, so I really, really enjoyed high school. Question number 19 are, what are your favorite YouTubers? And I'll insert right here a list of all of my favorite YouTubers. Question number 20 is, what is your favorite movie? And I have a lot of favorite movies. I think my all-time favorite movie, though, would either be Dirty Dancing or Twister or Titanic. Those three, those are my top three. Question 21 is what are your favorite TV shows? And right now, currently, my favorite TV shows are How to Get Away with Murder and Chicago PD and The Walking Dead. Not in that order. The Walking Dead, <laughs> How to Get Away with Murder and Chicago PD. Question number 22 is PC or Mac? And the answer to that is my Mac. I love my Mac. I am so happy with my Mac and I will never go back to anything else except a Mac. I love it so much. Question 23 is what phone do you have? And I have the iPhone 6S Plus and it is as big as my head and my husband makes fun of me for it all the time, but I've gotten so used to it, I touch his phone and it feels so small, like I'm going to break it because I'm just used to having this big old hunk of phone right here. <laughs> Question number 24 is how tall are you? And with shoes on, I am 5'1". Without shoes, I don't even think I'm 5'1". I'm kind of short compared to everyone in my life. I'm like the shortest person ever. And the last question is question number 25 and it's do you have pets? And the answer is no. I'm not a pet person. I love other people's pets and I'll, I'll take care of my mom and my sister's animals if they go out of town, but I'm not a pet person. My kids are begging me for a pet and my husband wants a pet so bad. And I told them when we buy our house, they are free to get whatever animals they want, even though I know I'm going to be the one taking care of it. And I will love it and take care of it and it will be our family pet. But if it was up to me, I could live without having a pet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple little tag. I thought it was kind of fun and it kind of just gives me an opportunity to share a little bit more about myself. And if you guys have any more questions you have for me, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. But it's a trend to size. It goes with my ginormous phone. That sounded really dumb. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching me get rid of some of the things from my closet, if you have any suggestions on things that I can do for all this stuff up here, it would greatly be appreciated. Because